Matre Namaha. Before getting into the video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel so you motivate us in bringing out this sacred content to you. Today we are going to learn about law of vibration. I have already made few videos about different laws of universe. If you did not yet watch them, please go watch them because in those videos you have some hidden information which will help in your own ascension journey, which will help in understanding the real laws of universe. And when you understand the laws of universe, you will act accordingly to those laws of universe and your life will be much more smoother and better okay so if you want to play any game you have to know the rules of that game right so this is also the same thing if you want to you know uh, be happy in this universe if you want to move smoothly if you want to gain all the you know perks and benefits of the you know of your life from your life and if you want to live a peaceful life you have to work according to the law of universe and you have to work in alignment with those laws then only your life will be much more better okay so the law of vibration is associated with Aquarius, Kumbharasi and Pisces that is Meenarasi. Okay, Pisces, Austrinus and it is connected with the air element and Uranus also. Okay, it is one of the solar logos and it is connected with the chakra 12 and sphere 12 and it is the avatar mind of the avatar body and it is also connected with the four royal stars, one of the four royal stars which is Formalat. Okay, and this natural law describes the principles that everything is in constant motion and nothing rests and everything vibrates at a rate that is either faster or slower and also rotates which forms a rate of frequency vibration beyond the material realm and into the realm in which everything is conscious energy describes the law of vibration everything in our universe consists of layers of vibrational frequencies stacked throughout the dimensional scales energy is consciousness and it is either contracts or expands to maintain expands to maintain or increase its rate of frequency the process of how fast or slow that energy contracts back towards its center point of the source field is the vibration rate the combination of both the pattern of vibration contraction and oscillation expansion speed is what determines the frequency rate of all energy and things if the rate of that frequency vibration falls below or rises above a certain intensity it becomes immeasurable or invisible to the base human senses basic human senses the first thing that is important to understand is that all that exists whether seen or unseen broken down into its simplest and most basic form consists of rate of frequency vibration at the highest levels and it at the lowest levels exist infinite manifestation all occurring at varying octaves of vibration each with their own energetic signature and quality of manifestation it is important to tremendously um, it is important to realize that every substance body beings vibrate to its own frequency and that vibration will be amplified tremendously when stimulated by a similar or compatible resonant frequency resonating to the positive forces of life forces of goodness forces of gratitude forces of love will amplify these resonances and strengthen our body dramatically resonating through ego to the negative forces of fear rage frustration resistant to what it is will also amplify those disturbances in our body greatly so you can see clearly how these vibrations will uh, affect our body if you are in a positive positive vibration if you are in a good vibration that will resonate with your body and it will give you uh, the better body okay it will strengthen your body and if you are resonating with the low frequencies if you are vibrating with the low frequencies and negative forces then it will impact our body mind and soul so choose wisely and always choose positive vibrations and frequencies okay uplifting uplifting frequencies we can apply the first law the law of mentalism to shift our thoughts in order to change a mental state into a positive state with a higher vibration directing fo focus upon loving positive states and higher frequencies with an effort of applying personal will in order to shift vibration is called mental transmutation whenever you're feeling low or whenever there is a difficult situation don't ever stay in that situation for a longer time because if you are staying in that situation for a longer time that then it means that your vibration is effect getting affected and your body mind and soul also will get affected do something to shift that vibration do something to transmute the, those vibrations and soon in my channel I'm going to you know upload videos on how to shift your vibration how to transmute the lower vibrations into higher vibrations so stay tuned hit that notification bell and listen to all the videos regularly so that you can change your vibration and also your life okay so 
um, we can apply the first law of mentalism to shift our thoughts in order to change our mental state into positive state with a higher vibration, directing focus upon loving positive states and higher frequencies with an effort of effort of applying personal will in order to shift vibration is called mental transmutation. The principle explains that the distinction between the manifestations of the plane of matter, energy, mind and spirit are the result of only different vibrations on a frequency scale. The higher the energy of a person is on the scale, the higher rate of vibration they will embody and interact with right it is really true and the more higher frequency higher vibration you carry you attract more high vibrational things it is my personal experience whenever i get into higher vibration i attract you know these beautiful pictures beautiful you know things in the pen interest or beautiful picture somewhere or you know beautiful things in the nature beautiful lights even in the you know whenever i see sky i, I see so many orbs and plasmas and lights okay it's all because when i vibrate in the higher frequency i attract those higher frequencies and higher vibrations so always keep a check on the vibration how you are vibrating if you are in a high vibration you will naturally attract high vibrational things towards you okay it can be anything it can be a drawing or painting or a dress or a, you know things in the universe or high vibration energies gods and goddess, goddesses and the help of the gods and goddesses you'll attract all of them okay the only thing you have to do is you have to cleanse your lower vibration and shift into the high vibrational frequencies okay you have to always learn to vibe high like vibe high right stand all right okay so the principle explains the distinction between the manifestations of the planes of matter, energy, mind and spirit are the result of only different vibrations on a frequency scale. The higher the energy of a person is on the scale, the higher the rate of vibration they will embody and interact with. In the higher dimensions, at the highest rate of vibration, the rate and intensity are so fast that it may appear that entity is effortlessly gliding yet motionless, like a spinning wheel in the place that appears perfectly stable and at the lowest levels of vibration, objects move so slowly they appear to totally to be totally stationary and immovable between these two states of being exist infinite manifestations all occurring at varying octaves of vibration each with their own unique signature the law of vibration is magnified by the importance of its position in our universal time matrix and its ultimate governance by retaining the solar logos the, this law manifest has the guardian of the southern direction in the pillar architecture for, that forms one side of the four cardinal direction that is north south east West that are measured in the cosmic time cycle. This is why formal alert is referred to as the guardian of the south and is one of the set cardinal directions of the four royal stars. As I already told you, this is one of the four royal stars, right? Formal alert is one of the four royal stars and it is very important to understand them. And um, soon I'm going to make a video about this four royal stars and what does it mean and you know what you should do and everything about it. Okay, so stay tuned. Consciousness is the rate of frequency, the energy is the consciousness and it is either contracts or expands to maintain or increase its rate of frequency. The process of how fast or slow energy contracts back towards its center point of the source field is the vibration rate. Beyond the material realm and into the, material, into the realm in which everything is energy is the law of vibration, an actual universal law that states that nothing rests, everything moves, everything vibrates, that which forms a rate of frequency. The lower the vibration, the slower the vibration, the higher the vibration, the faster the vibration. The difference between the manifestation of the physical, mental, emotional and spiritual results simply from different levels of vibrating energy of frequencies so while the feelings of the fear grief despair vibrate at a very low rate of frequency the feelings of love joy gratitude vibrate much quicker consciousness is the vibration consciousness energy vibration consists of and is interconnected providing a distinct vibratory pattern and is intermediately transmitted and received with no concept of space or time when realized into the universal consciousness vibration is not limited to the time and space vast amount of the qualities of vibrational frequency exist has an ever present consciousness layer that exists in the entire universe. Everything in our universe consists of layers of vibrational frequency. If the rate of that vibration falls below or rises above a certain intensity, it becomes immeasurable or invisible to the basic human senses. This means it is beyond the capacity of the five basic senses, such as, the such as frequency rates outside of the visible light spectrum. 
there are so many lights okay which you know which are beyond our five senses there are so many different different colors also which are beyond you know uh, what we have discovered and what we have known in our universe okay some of the colors which i experience which don't even have any name which i don't even know how to describe them so those all you know colors and different light spectrums also exist in the universe but they are beyond human mind and they are beyond human senses because they are vibrating at a higher vibrational state the more we you know vibrate in a high vibrational state we will be able to experience those things which we have never known before in our universe okay so these are all different experiences when you get when you are into higher vibrational states okay only when you are into that higher vibrational state then um, sometimes you can uh, you know experience those, those things which are you know invisible to the naked eye normal human eyes which are beyond your senses which are beyond your normal visions okay it is it requires that inner vision so it all depends on our consciousness and our vibration this means it is beyond the capacity of five senses such as frequency reach outside the visible light spectrum that doesn't mean that the vibration of frequency doesn't exist because you cannot sense it the first thing that is important to understand that that understand is that all that exists whether seen or unseen broken down into simplest and most basic form consists of rate of frequency let's begin by begin by looking at some has a simple has piece of paper has a pick it up and look at it Uh, it appears to be a solid object that you can sense with all the five basic human senses of si sight, touch, taste, smell, hearing. If you were to tear off a small piece of the corner and place it under a microscope, you would microscope you would find that it now appears to transform into different form than when you held it in your hand. Has it it laid on the table? As you observe it closely, you will find that there appears to be a moment within it. The moment that you see is millions of individual forms of microscopic matter that make up the piece of paper, which are called molecules everything in our world that you can sense with a five basic human senses are made up of trillions of these tiny molecules now let's see let take let's take one of those molecules and place it under a much more powerful microscope and as you look through the lens you will find that they, there appears to be a movement from within the molecules this movement is created by something known to be scientific community has atoms which broken down and analyzed further consists of proton which is at the center and an electron which consists of the proton creating a vibratory pattern energy everything that exists either uh, physical seen or uh, non physical unseen contains some vibration of atoms and subatomic particles the varying amount of each of these put together form various shapes or energies which determine form or rates of vibrational frequencies depending upon the specific amount of each of these subatomic ingredients all physical phenomena that can be seen whether tangible and measurable experiences or in case of objects these subatomic structures determine if the thing being observed is solid liquid or a gas the specific amount of these subatomic particles combined with their rate of vibration also determines whether it can be sensed with five basic human senses or not regardless of its form everything that exists seen and unseen consists of a rate of vibration in other words what you see in the physical life is not solid as it appears to be it is all a vibrating mass of energy universal vibration everything that exists must create from a center point of the universal consciousness the original source of which the vibration exists the god source the center point of all union is known as many names amongst the people in our world this universal consciousness is the god source of all that is and was or ever will be although it is referred to in many different ways regardless of the names attached to it by the human kind and it exists and all is always present in some form in everything and every everyone and is always present in some form in everything and everyone each of us has an individual being or an integral yet individual part of the universal god consciousness and collectively make up a portion of the whole of the universal consciousness vibration much like a drop of water is a part of and makes up the body of water in an ocean there are also many layers of vibrational fields that are reduced to smaller forms of the galactic solar planetary human animal plant and natural kingdoms of the earth all groupings of the collective consciousness fields that uniquely vibrate at that inter interconnected into the overall universal consciousness vibration humanity and everything else within our universe in our most basic form exist has a unique arrangement of the vibrational frequency that was originally generated from central and original source
okay this was the law of vibration so i hope you understood the law of vibration and how important for us to leave the lower vibrations and vibrate in higher frequencies so that we can attract better okay we can resonate with the higher vibrational you know things or people in our life and we can attract those higher vibrational frequencies into our life and into our consciousness okay if you want to ascend if you want to complete your ascension journey you have to constantly upgrade yourself and you have to constantly move towards the higher vibrational frequencies then only you will be able to attract the higher consciousness or then only you will be able to ascend and move into the next level of consciousness so understanding the law of vibration is very important in your own ascension journey so that's why i thought of doing this video so thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for listening stream atrinamaha